Hi guys, today I'm here with a process video. I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday. These cards here are from Heidi Swap's Gold Foil Collection. And this stamp here is from Tiddly Inks. I got both the cards in the stamp from Judy Bakes 22 in a rack. And I added some paper piecing, some gold embossing powder, and some Wink of Estella on there. And then I also added this card to the right side that says September. Then down here, this was originally a 4x6 horizontal card, but I cut it because I wanted it to be 3x4. And later on in the video, I will show you how I cover that up. So that is everything, guys. Let's get into this. I'm going to start with the first card, which is the Panda Girl card in the top left. And again, that stamp is from Tiddly Inks. I totally love it. It's adorable. I just love how it came out. And I'm not going to get too crazy with these cards. Because of the fact that they're gold foil, I want to try and keep them as low key as possible. I know that's difficult for me. So the first thing I'm going to add is this washi tape here. It's from Little B. It's probably my favorite washi tape in my stash, the gold and white stripes. I love it. And I'm going to take out some rhinestones and some alpha letters. The alpha letters were from a Gossamer blue kit that came uh, the beginning of 2014. And the rhinestones are from Stamping Up. They're my go-tos. I love them. And I just marked the date of my birthday. This is going to be a birthday spread. I spent my birthday in New York in September with my family. So I wanted to do a page dedicated just to those pictures. And I'm just going to spell out the word birthday. Now my trick here is I don't press really hard on those letters. So in case I have to lift them or move them like I'm doing right now, it's not too difficult to do so. I don't actually press on the letters and push them really stern to the paper until I know for sure that that's the placement that I want like I'm doing right now. I run my finger over them to smooth them out. And I love the way this came out. It's just so simple, but so perfect. And I'm going to call that card done. Now we're going to move on to the second card, which is in the top right. I love this card with the gold arrows. Now I did something different here. I did black and white pictures. And on the cake pictures, I had the cake stay of the color that it was and made the background black and white. I used an iPhone app to do that. And I absolutely love it. Now I'm just taking out these Scraptastic 3x4 wood veneer cards. I want to use one of them. I thought that one would work, but it just didn't look right with the size of that picture. So I ended up going with this card here with the stars, and I love it. I think it's just so pretty and so perfect. I love the way it went together. Now I'm going to dig through the ephemera pack that came with the September Scraptastic kit. And you guys have seen this process before. If you have watched other process videos from me, I'm basically going through the ephemera pieces until something strikes me that I like. And I love that pink ticket on the right side of the picture. It is a coat check ticket. It's so cute. I love that it came in the pack. Now I wanted to use this piece here because the pink and the gold, but I couldn't get it to work. And that ticket was a little too small. So again, you guys have seen this process. I'm just going to keep working until I find something that really strikes me and works and that noted circle does. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to adhere everything down. Now I usually use my uh, Tombow glue to adhere down wood veneers and anything thicker than cardstock, but I didn't have any. I'm out. So I'm going to use my plus uh, tape runner to put everything down. Everything on this whole entire layout is going to be with my tape runner, but it does work. And then I'm going to show you this coat ticket up close. It's so cute. It's adorable. I just totally love it. I thought it looked perfect there. Just a great piece of ephemera that came in the kit for Scraptastic for September. And I'm just going to adhere that down. And I want to center my picture. I'm going to fuss with it a little bit and move things around to get it to squeeze all in on that 4x6 card. 
and it is definitely heavy on the right side of the card. I'm just going to put the overhang there. And that's why I got that noted circle for the left side because the right side was so heavy. I wanted to balance it on the left side. And what I like is I was able to keep some of the gold arrows on the original 4x6 card underneath. So I'm really happy how that came out. And again, I'm just going to clip whatever's overhanging. And then I'm going to pull out some puffy stickers from Evolicious. I have this one that says family and I want to incorporate some more black into this because the whole theme of this is black, white, and pink. And I'm just kind of trying to find a good spot for it. I couldn't find a place that really, you know, was great in the beginning. And then I just decide I'm going to leave it there on its own and I like the way that came out. And it's perfect now and it's done. I'm going to call that card done. I'm going to slide that into the pocket and we're going to move on to the next card. Now that picture, by the way, was of my uncle and his wife. He's 90 years old, so I don't know the next time I will be able to see him. Now here are my pictures again, um, the black and white that I had mentioned. And this here, the cake is colored, but the background remains black and white. I used an app on my iPhone for that and I thought it came out really, really cute. I just wanted to emphasize the colors of the cake. There's that piece I'm trying to use again with the gold and the pink. Again, I couldn't make it work. I wish I could. And I'm gonna, gonna do a lot to this, but I'm gonna pull out some of my cork pieces. Originally, I was gonna use the September, but the card above it says September, so I moved on. And I found this one that says this week, and I really like it. It's just very simple, and I wanna keep this card simple as well, and just emphasize the cake. And I love the cake. This is Happy Birthday, Diana, in New York. Like, they had to make sure that they wrote that I was in New York. I think that's so funny. So I definitely wanted to document that. So that card is actually done. I'm going to call that finished, and I'm going to add that to the pocket. Because, again, I don't want to add too much to these cards since the gold foil is very, very loud on them. I'm going to move on to that next card that I had cut. And basically, I just want to cover the edges, so I'm going to go back to that little bee gold and white tape again, and that's the thin washi tape. I love it. And I'm just going to put it right on the edges so you can't see that I actually cut that card. And I like how this came out because the center is the plain white and the edges have the graph paper. Totally love how that came out. Nice and simple. We're going to call that done and move on. The next card is my journaling card. I want to add something to this, probably some wood veneers, so I grab that. Now my kitten Bella is going to show up here. When I pull out the wood veneer, she likes the little shaky noise, so she comes to visit. And I'm just looking for something to dress up the card, and I love these wood sequins. They're so unique and so different, so I had to use them. So I'm going to place them down in a triangle, which I usually do when I add sequins to a spread and since they're similar to sequins wood veneers mimicking uh, the sequins I thought I'd lay them in the triangle as well just for interest and I'm going to take out my Millennium Zig Pen the 08 size and I'm going to just do my journaling nice and simple nothing too fancy on this card either and I like how that came out I'm going to add that to the pocket and call it done and again, I kept that card as simple as I could. And now I'm going to move on to this next card. I love it, the XOXO with the pink. And here is the cake once it was cut into. It was such a delicious cake. I, my mom went the extra mile to get this cake made for me. So I really wanted to make sure I had a picture of the inside of it. The filling was delicious. And I go back to that little bee washi tape again, the golden white stripe. And I just wanted to add some interest on the top of the card just to balance it off. And I'm going to add another Stamping Up rhinestone to that card. And then we'll move down to the bottom left card. I love how this card came out. I just started with a blank 4x6 grid card. And I have this picture that I absolutely love. It's my favorite picture. And I'm going to use this wood veneer viewfinder. I've been wanting to use that for a while. I finally found a chance. And there goes that pink and gold uh, vellum piece. I wanted to use it. Couldn't make it work on this card either. But I found that pink, pink ticket that I really like. 
And I love this newspaper and gold little tag that I found as well. So I really like the way these pieces are all balancing together on this card. So I'm going to stick with that layout and I'm going to start to adhere things down. Now the only thing I wanted to change is with the viewfinder. I wanted the little windows to be black because I had the black and white going on the other cards and with the pictures themselves. And I just think it makes it look more realistic. So I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz scissors here and I'm going to trim around the wood veneer. And I just think that putting that extra little bit on it changes it so much. It looks really cute. I had a little bit of extra overhang on the cardstock, so I'm just going to trim it, get a little closer cut to the wood veneer. And I love how that came out, so I'm going to adhere that down. It just looks so cute like that. And I'm going to add in this gold heart card that was also part of the Heidi Swap Gold Foil Collection, a 3x4 four, a three four card. And I'm going to add that pink ticket because I just think it gives the perfect interest against the black and white. And I love this picture, just the way me and my mom and a close family friend are looking at the cake. It's just so funny. We're looking at it in awe. <laughs> and I'm just going to poke that hole out of the newspaper ticket. I love that ticket. It's so cool, that flag. And I'm going to adhere down the picture and I'm going to fuss with it a little to make sure it's straight. And I just love the way that came out. I am going to poke a hole in the fishtail banner on the top, the newspaper one, because I want to put a uh, brad there. And I have one in my collection that is a black and white checkered. I just think it's really cool and it's going with the whole black and white theme that I'm trying to convey on this layout. And I think it came out really super cute. I love it. This is probably one of my all-time favorite cards that I've ever done. I know it seems simple, but I just absolutely love that picture so much. Okay, we're going to move on to this next card here. I love the poem that was on this card. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to take these overlays out by Heidi Swap. I really like these things. In the beginning, I used to not like them so much, but I'm really they're really growing on me. I wish I had used both the love and the pretty, but I end up just going with the pretty in the top left-hand corner. I love how it looks there, and it's not you can still read the lettering in the poem on the bottom, so I really like that. And I'm going to just use my tiny attacher to attach that down. I really like that. So super easy to put those down. And I'm going to add a tag to the bottom left-hand corner. I have not put my age on this yet, and unfortunately I'm going to have to do that now. So I'm going to use my tiny attacher to put down this label, and I didn't want the numbers to be overwhelming on this. I didn't want them to be the main focus. And there you can see a four, and then the next number should be a three. So I didn't want the focus to be the numbers. <laughs> I wanted them as tiny as possible, and I really like how that came out nice and plain and simple. And that's it, guys. I really hope you guys like this. Please thumbs up if you want to see more process videos. I really enjoy doing them. I'm going to have some still shots coming up here in the end. And if you have any questions or comments, just please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Bye!